you could get a question like this on the SATs. Um, it says if x squared minus y squared equals 77 and x plus y equals 11, what is the value of x? The first thing you got to understand with this particular type of question is this is what you call the polynomial type of question. The first thing they expect you to understand is that when you see the value x squared minus y squared, it's really equal to the difference of two squares, which is the multiplication of x minus y times x plus y. That's the first thing you got to see about this type of question. So x squared minus y squared, which is equal to x minus y times x plus y, is going to be equal to 77. Using this part of my equation, I'm going to go back ahead and plug in some information. The value of x plus y is 11. So I'm going to say x minus y times 11 is equal to 77. Okay, go ahead and divide both sides by 11. The value of x minus y is equal to 77 divided by 11, and that's equal to 7. Okay, so now what you have is two equations x minus y equals 7, and x plus y is equal to 11. That was the second equation that we had. If we go ahead and solve these simultaneously, we're solving for the value of x. So to solve for x, I can go ahead and add these two equations together. If you add these two equations together, x plus x gives you 2x. Negative y and positive y, those will cancel out, and 2x would be equal to 7 plus 11, which is 18. If the value of 2x equals 18, go ahead and divide both sides by 2. The value of x would be equal to 9. The key to solving a question like this is to understand that when you see x squared minus y squared, it's the difference of two squares. So x squared minus y squared would be equal to the product of x minus y times x plus y. Thank you.